Alrighty, what is up everybody and welcome back to Evo Space. As always, I am Dor, and today we're going to go ahead and make the oxygen stuff that we need to put into our turbines to uh, to give us more power output. And hopefully that's enough to satisfy our power needs because I really don't feel like making a monster farm. And and like the, the, the bamboo is like barely keeping that turbine spinning constantly. So we're we're like operating at like peak efficiency here. Even or even our uh, our thing here probably could use another arm pulling out bamboo. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make that. I already have all the stuff made in my inventory here. I just don't have it down yet. And over here, I went ahead and made a uh, what is it? A freezer, and that allows us to finish off our hard metal. So if we pull open our quest thingy here. Uh, apparently I already did it. Totally forgot that I did it. Uh, but we need a titanium mixer and that completes that quest line there. So if you pull open this, we need six plates and three, uh, parts. Oh, I had, I had that thing smashing down plates. I forgot why that was there. So we need six of you. Boop. And three of you. And that makes the mixer and it completes our quest line. So now we are pretty much done with all the quests in this current state of the game. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do except finish off making our stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw our hard metal in here. We have seven pieces of it and we can go ahead and eventually upgrade all of our stuff here to hard metal. But uh, that's going to take some time here because the whole processing mechanism here is going to take a while. Uh, I was going to plop this down, but I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to go ahead and plop it into the crate here. And let's go ahead and start making our compressed oxygen stuff that we need over here for the generators to work at the peak. So we're going to have it uh, pump into both of these slots here. And to do that, we'll run it on steel piping because nothing else around here runs on steel piping. Why do I have that coming in on titanium piping? Or not titanium pipe, aluminum piping. Oops. Need you back in my inventory, please. Okay, oh yeah, 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 I forgot. I also upgraded these guys to titanium stuff, so our generators are titanium, our electrical engines are titanium. Uh, I think I had those done already prior to this. But uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to squeeze this in probably right here. But I need to pull open the crafting recipe for it. So it's this one that we need, right? Ooh, you know what? Let me actually... Let me double check. So we need oxygen fluid. Oxygen fluid is from one of these guys, which is frozen oxygen. Frozen oxygen is given from frozen air in a separator. Frozen air is gained by freezing 10 air fluid in a freezer with NAC coolant. And frozen air is given from compressors. So we need a compressor going into a freezer. Uh, let me go ahead and get this lined up in my thingy here. So a compressor going into a freezer, into a separator, into a chemical reactor. And that should do the trick. So if we can squeeze this in here, right, it's coming out of this guy, the last thing here. So where's the exit bit? It's on the wrong side. Is that going to do it? That's on the wrong side again. Boop, boop. There we go. So we should be able to squeeze it in here. Have a pipe here into a, uh, a valve. But we won't have the valve for right now, so let's just go ahead and plop this down. Okay. Uh, ooh, the, the, the separator's big. I forgot about that. We might not be able to squeeze it in here, actually. Uh, but we might. Let's try. That's not the right way. Need you to go... That away. Oh, we need a gear spinning this thing. Hold on. That was... That was telling me to spin it into a... 
a thing, right? So this breaks it back down into oxygen fluid. That's what we need. And we need fluid coming into this, but there's no... There's no fluid input, unless we can just pipe it into normal, the normal in input. Huh. Okay. Well, that's weird. So hopefully this works. Uh, we need to scoot this back. Oh, nope. I'm breaking the ground. Uh, can I grab those, please? Boop. Uh, I want back out now. Okay, so if we... Uh, if we don't put the wrong thing in the floor bit, I don't even know if I got that back. I honestly don't care if I got it back, so we're just going to keep going here. So we need the output bit here. That's the closest we can go because we can't put an engine there if we're, if our uh, our thing is there. So the connection does not connect. Where are these going? That doesn't connect. Uh, how do you have fluid coming out of here then? It is a separator, correct? I gotta triple check now because I'm 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 doubting this. Frozen air, frozen air into an industrial separator. Oh, it's the wrong one. It's th this is the big one. I need to make the little tiny tiny one that's not super good. So I think I have a titanium one made. No, I have a chemical reactor one. So hold on, let me just get this out of my inventory so I don't use it again. Uh, that's an industrial one again, right? Yep. I have a little one. Where did I put the little one? I know I have a little one made. Is it over here? Set to be destroyed. Did I destroy it already is the question. Because I know I have this guy over here. That's the, the stainless steel one. You know what? We're just going to take this one. We'll take that one. We'll take its engine. Do I need an engine? Do I already have one in my inventory? I already have one in my inventory. Okay. So we'll replace that later. So we need this thing over here in this little lineup of stuff. So kablamo. Kajgoosh. Okay. So we can delete the piping because we probably don't need that much piping now. We need this down. So we have an input and an output. And again, I don't see the the um, the thing to uh, have a, a thing coming out. Huh. One of these steps, we need a nat coolant coming into it. So let me just double check that again. This isn't it. Okay, so we should have this. Nope. Nope. And there's no other spot for me to put this. Huh. Is this not a, a thing you can do in the game yet? Am I just wasting my time here trying to do something that you cannot do? Unless this doesn't count as a fluid. Right? Does it count as a fluid? That's a fluid. That's not a fluid. So do you have to arm it into everything? In which case, we should be good if that's the case then. We just need to grab a couple arms. Uh, we'll take a stack of those. We'll take a couple of those. So if we can arm it in, then we're good. If we can't do that, then... Uh-oh. Well, hold on, because then this guy needs... This guy needs to be spitting out fluid, right? It is spitting out fluid. Okay. Okay, here. So we need you. Ooh, then we need this guy coming into it. From this way. We can just put a conveyor. We don't have to arm it then if that's the case. Right. Then the engine goes on the back of this. Boop. We need that gone. Okay. Oh boy, I hope this works. And then you are just separating the coolant. It's not even in the recipe list, though. 
that's the issue. So, aluminum industrial separator. Stainless steel separator. So I, I had it right. I had the big one. It says it's the big one. Uh, it's just uh, confusing. So I need you back for the uh, doesn't try here. Let's see. So you need... Oh, what did I just break? I have no idea what I just broke. Okay. I guess we'll figure that out when something stops working. That goes there. So the industrial one. Get out of here, little one. Nope, I took it right back into the inventory. Okay, so we have an output. Uh, we'll put it here again. If I could kindly get you to stop being picky. So we'll put it there. We'll just convey it over. Boop, boop. Boop it. Oh, nope. We need you to go the other way. There we go. That should feed right into this. Then we need the engine here. Watch, this isn't going to work somehow, and I'm going to be slightly disappointed. So then, this should have it on the recipe list. And it does have it on the recipe list. Okay, cool. So then we need, I should have looked when I had it open. We need you coming in from a freezer, which is this guy. And... Hold up. Is it coming out as a fluid or is it coming out as an item? Because if it's coming out as an item, that's good. If it's coming out as a fluid, it's not so good. So it's coming out as an item. Okay, so we can have it like here. Nope, that's not going to work. We'll have it go this way because we need the, the uh, NAC coolant coming out and getting cooled off again. Uh, like we have the setup over there. Let me go ahead and plop this again. So we need you going into that. That's going to be outputting the the frozen air, right? And then the NAC coolant's coming out of here. So then we have these guys. This guy's not getting used. These guys taking the fluid. I th think we have the, the fluid coming out. Nope, oh, wrong way. We need you going that away. Okay, and then we put the radiator on top. That'll re-cool down the the NAC coolant liquid. And then we need you, which I don't have any of the conveyor belt thingamabobbers that I have over here. Okay. So we need two of you and a belt. And we should be good. We have some NAC coolant down over in the the uh, chest that's behind us, where is my... Of course I don't have any. Why would I have any? It's like I, I totally didn't uh, build any. Uh, I know I have some, dang it. Okay, what do you need to make them? Because, uh... Let's see, what are they? The conveyor... Conveyor tubes. We need belts and parts. We got plenty of belts. We should be good to go. Let me grab some steel bits here. Let's see. We need you. Grab a couple of you. Grr, we don't have a lot of you. We only need two of you. You can go away. You can go away. Let me grab the NAC coolant while we're here too. So we don't have to come back over here. Uh, we can probably only put five in there like we can with this guy over here. And we should be golden. Hopefully. And we should have our power situation sorted here in just a second. So, we need a belt going in. Boop. We need the conveyor coming. Uh, I only made one. Of course I only made one. Now, we should be good here. Okay, so then we can plop the neck coolant into here. That's not in the right spot. You can go there. Uh, I'm not going to even try putting more in there. Okay. So then we need air fluid. Jeez. Uh, which is from the compressor. So the compressor can f 
fit right into that little nub there. And all we have left to do, if this is all done correctly, which I'm really doubting that it is because it's just been one thing after the other here. So that goes there. What else needs power? This guy needs an engine, so we need another engine, which I'm just going to grab the one that is left over from the separator over here, because I don't think I'm running that thing at all on anything. Um, it's kind of uh, pointless once you... Oh, this is a steel-powered thing. This is a bad one. You can you can stay. I don't, I don't want you. I do. Let me make some stainless steel ones really quick. So with the stainless steel one, we're going to go plop it there. We can plug you into that guy. We need this one over here plugged in as well, which is done underneath because I already opened up the ground. Uh, this guy needs to be plugged into power, which is underneath as well. And I think, I think we are good to go. We just need to plug this in and everything should start turning out the stuff we need to hopefully hopefully get our power situation dealt with uh we'll just drag this guy across there we go the compressor is firing instantly which is no surprise because there's no difficulty there uh let's go ahead and head on up okay it's going to take a second i guess we can speed this part up if we if we plug in multiple um, compressors. But there we go, there's our first bit of oxygen into here. This is going to split into two things that I didn't think about. Oh, I didn't think about that. Of course it spit out the first thing first, which is the green stuff. Uh, I'm going to grab it once it comes into here because it's just going to sit here, it's not going to do anything. It is going to do something. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, did it just put it into here? It did. Oh, dang it. Okay, so I need to grab a filter arm. Totally spaced out on that even being a product of this thing. We need a filter arm, which is this guy here. We need a cabinet which we don't really have in abundance but we have a bunch of empty ones so I'm just gonna grab one of these guys uh, and then we can go ahead and plop it over here and just have it yank the nitrogen off of the line before it even does anything so we're gonna shut this off for now so it uses whatever hydrogens in the line so we can just uh, break it oh man I can't even squeeze this in here okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do since we're tight for space up there we're gonna go ahead and just conveyor it down uh, we're gonna go ahead and how do you crouch again? Is it alt? Of course it's alt. Okay, so then we're going to go kablamo. Oop, oops, oops, oops. Okay. So that should connect in. Uh, I need to turn these guys on. So it's white and I think pink. Okay, never mind. I was going to say green. Uh, so we're going to go input pink, output white. Uh, that should spit it down to here. Uh, what is the thing? Blue into pink so we'll do blue oops we'll do blue and a pink kablamo uh, we'll have an output there we're gonna run it on normal conveyors so we can filter arm it off of the the line here and then we need another one here but we're gonna go ahead and put the filter arm so it grabs now instead of having it fill into the thingy again and end up messing up our stuff. So we can do this, we can do that. Did it go into it? It did, okay, cool. So then we can have this go into you. Uh, you, oh, the electrical cable, okay. That's no biggie, we can just go ahead and rearrange this a smidge so we can squeeze in the, the uh, rack here. Do we really not have any more cables on us? Okay, well, that's something I'll deal with in a second. Uh, we need you to go there. That'll fill it in with the nitrogen, I believe. Yep. Uh, I don't know what we can use that for just yet, but we'll go ahead and figure that out at a later date. Uh, let's see. We need you. I think the front is going to be green. Yep, green. So we need an input from white to green. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go boop and a boop. Uh, input, output, and then we need the conveyor to come back this way. That should be good, and that should work. So yellow to blue, boop and boop. And like that, we should be good to go. So I have a little bit of nitrogen in there. I can't take that stuff out. So I'm going to just pipe it into the generator because I'm already going to break it just to get that liquid out of there so we can actually use the generator. So let's go ahead and just plop this down. It's going to fill this guy up with some... Uh, let me actually break this guy so it's not eating anything it's not supposed to be eating. Or you know what? It's not going to fill it up with anything it's not supposed to fill it up with because we can't actually pipe anything else out. Okay, so we're good there. This guy's done with whatever fuel it had left in it. And then if we go like that... Nope, we got nitrogen again. Why do we have nitrogen in there? Get out of there. Should. Uh, there we go. So now we have oxygen in there. We have oxygen in there. And then we can open this guy back up. We should be good to go. Hopefully. So now we are producing... Uh, oh, we're not producing anything because we need electrical cable. Okay, let me grab that. Okay, so that's situated now. We might swap this out for a titanium one or even maybe a hard metal one. Uh, we might swap this whole little get out for or get up a, a, into titanium just to, to get it running as efficiently as we can right now uh, until we get enough hard metal to start changing out our stuff for that. Um, but you can see our farm didn't harvest because we we are like struggling for power right now. Our turbine here is still turning but that's barely keeping everything up um, so hopefully these guys can get the power grid up and run. why am I so struck for power right now Ooh, I have I have ore going through the system okay that's why that explains it uh, but we should be good to go hopefully once this kind of settles in and once the the processing over here is done, uh, this should hopefully, oh man, it should hopefully tide us over, I'm hoping. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to just plop a ton of solar panels down, because uh, we can make those now. We have a couple of them over there. Um, I also finished this thing off. I don't know what this is going to be. Again, I don't. I honestly don't know. It's probably just going to sit here and be nothing. Uh, but I went ahead and finished it off. I put a bunch of floors in. Uh, we have a roof. We have a couple solar panels up there. I was kind of hoping I could make like a movable like mining machine. And I was just going to have it bore through the planet. Uh, but there's no movable blocks in this game. Um, so that kind of defeated the purpose. Um, and I also, I don't see the point in uh, moving my whole little my whole little thing over here into that because I can barely keep this up. So adding more machines to that already uh, power struggle over here is not going to be good. Uh, but I think that's going to go ahead and be it for this episode. We went ahead and set up our, our oxygen line over here to supply our machines. And I'm really curious if it's going to help out because... As it stands right now, I don't think it's running because it's out of power. Uh, why is this not chugging? Oh, it's because it's, it's building up power to spin it. How much do I need? I need 20. Ooh. Okay, well, uh, anyways, that's going to go ahead and be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.